Some people say that the clothes that you choose to wear plays a part in creating or awakening that version of yourself. Since there are so many different unique styles with many diverse aesthetics, it's really hard to say if those clothes represent who you are or who you choose to display to society. And of course, different eras of society can create cultural creativity. Events like this have developed countless bold signature pieces to represent an era in political times. Whether you are going to a theme party, dressing up for the holidays, or just wanting to incorporate some of your favorite style, you have stumbled into the right video. Take it away, Teresa! In this video, we will be discussing ways to dress up like the people in high society of Bridgerton, also known as the Regency era. Now, before we start, we are going to separate the video into two parts. The first part will be um, ladies first, and the second part will be Gentlemen. going straight into this video. Here's what you will need to look the part. Dresses are like the blueprint to build on the entirety of the look. There are two kinds of dresses that are worn and people can instantly tell you came right from a Jane Austen novel or a Shonda Rhyme period drama. The Empire waistline dress with puff sleeves which are mostly worn in the show. Some are plain and simple and others plain with sheer top fabrics, usually designed with floral embroideries and small dainty delicate beads. If you wish to wear something more modern and up to date, baby doll dresses closely resemble this type of dress. The only difference is it's shorter. The second kind of dress was seen on young Lady Danbury and Queen Charlotte, which looks similar to Mary Antoinette. They are extravagantly built into two sections, one as a corset and the bottom being extremely voluminous, detailed with ribbons and ruffles. These are mostly worn by people of extreme high rank and position, mainly because of their requirements and care it takes to put on and take off. Outerwear is crucial for the weather or when protecting your fancy dresses to the outside elements. You could wear a trench coat which creates a bold powerful energy stating you are in control and not to be messed with or opt for a crop version long or short sleeve for the summer season. There is also the cloak that displays mystery and secrecy, a feeling that is shown when a character is approaching a new setting or situation, like Eloise, Penelope, Lady Denbury, Daphne, and of course the Queen, each at one moment experience those emotions and have been placed in situations that demands it to be worn. Now, when it comes to styling your hair, you could just opt for a wig, the bigger the better, like the queen, or embrace your hair texture, curly, kinky, and coily, it calls for it all. Most of the time, their hair is up and away from the face with added curls or bangs, so don't be afraid to accessorize. Here is the time to embrace and enhance your natural beauty. Peachy nude pink subtle colors appear on the lips, cheeks, eyes to highlight a soft and more feminine appearance. As for the eyebrows, it's mostly full and drawn in following the natural arch. Think of soft girl or 90s glam makeup. If a bold color is placed on the face, it's usually to make a statement or for a scandalous moment. This is where you could turn yourself from plain Jane to the diamond of the season. From top to bottom, beginning with hair accessories such as crowns, feathers, clips, flowers, pearls, anything that could create a beam of light to dazzle your glow, display it. Other accessories aside from headpieces are brooches, bracelets, watches, and rings, which are worn sometime over the gloves denty or big rhinestone, pearl necklace, any jewelry to elevate a more elegant or couture look similar to the queen. Don't forget to add a pair of lace or solid gloves which seems to match most of the ladies dresses. If unsure on which color to select, opt for a white or sheer glove to help bring in the look. 
If you are not holding a glass of wine to dance the night away, you'll most probably be wrapped around with a small card that lists the name of the candidates you'll be dancing with. In a room filled with guests, it is best to bring a fan to alleviate yourself from the heat or a mini potly bag that is beaded or covered with detailed embroidery to match your outfit. I don't believe Regency heels to be as comfortable or the main highlight of an outfit since it is usually hidden underneath your long dress. So I would say it is okay to wear flats for comfort, but if you must wear a shoe with heels, you can go for the classic style Mary Jane or a ballet style heel and rock it with a pair of stockings. Now let's hop over to the gentlemen's. If you are going to wear a suit, do it with style. Most of the male's upper looks consist of three components. These components are usually seen in the modern world in professional settings or formal events. A white long sleeve linen top or a top that closely resembles a cotton blouse, usually detailed with ruffle collars, but whichever you choose, it is a staple piece to build on. These white blouses indicate you are of high class because of the manual labor that goes into washing away sweats, dirts, and stain. They do also create a dreamy, romantic, and attractive aura when the gents in the period drama wear them, like Anthony coming out of the water or Mr. Darcy strolling around Pemberley. No wonder why costume designers decide to choose a white blouse for the scene because it is the next best thing to bare skin. The second component is a well-tailored waistcoat, also known as a double-breasted vest. It is a great way to show your style and personality, mainly because you can select a solid piece or one filled with a unique bold style, like the Duke of Hastings or even Colin after absorbing new ways to style himself from his travels to enhance his appearance. These sleeveless vests are worn over the white blouse with classic tiny button closures. The third component is a jacket and outerwear like a man's blazer, which is often short in the front and long in the back. If you do not wish to wear a blazer, opt for a cloak or a long trench jacket to boldly display your presence, stating, I am here when walking into society, like Mr. Darcy at the end of the film, or a Colin again returning back with a new appearance. A pair of muted or basic colors like black, beige, and white tailored trousers will balance out the top, usually accompanied with a fabric belt, which is again optional. Black or brown leather rider boots are commonly worn during hunting season or simply riding a horse. If you do not own a pair of formal laced up Oxford shoes, go for a loafer with a white stocking. But again, the stocking is optional. Now, when it comes to male accessories, both males and females wear gloves, but males tend to wear darker color gloves, and if they aren't holding a glass to make conversation, they are mostly using their pocket watch, which is connected to their vest. This watch phobe can sometimes be paired with a charm. You probably noticed it on both the Bridgerton brothers, Anthony and Colin. The last accessory that screams that it is part of a Regency time known as a neck scarf which can be tied into many different ways like a bow or simply wrapped around and pinned down with a brooch to elongate the neck but if you don't feel comfortable there is the option to go without. Now that you know the intricate details to form a Regency outfit for this time period, you can now impress yourself or your surrounding by choosing to dress like a Viscount, Duke, or even the famous anonymous Lady Whistledown. The choice is yours. Just remember, clothes that are gathered, selected by us, can announce many things. They assist us when we take part in society expressing our culture and communicating to the world our identity. 
A crown can display your status and wealth or class, and a family heirloom, if it can talk, can tell many different stories. Fashion gives us the power to explore those different range of our identity. If you enjoyed this video, please like so I could create more videos like this. And if I miss any other details related to those outfits, or if you plan on incorporating these into your closet, please feel free to share by commenting down below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.